Hi, this is me, Johnny, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to combine your favorite dishes with a typography. Let's dive into it. Now, before doing anything, you need to prepare a top view dish that you like. Make sure it's all clear and detailed enough. First step, picking radio tool to draw a selected area for your dish. Now, right-click and pick Transform Selection if you want to scale up and down the circle. Alright, now press Ctrl or Command J on a keyboard to make selected area or layer of a dish. Next, use Pen tool to take even more detail of a mural. After you finish, press Shift plus F6 and add 1 for radius feather before pressing Ctrl J again. Next, merge two layers into one by Ctrl E or Merge button. Now, feel free to reflect and rotate the dish until you get a perfect position. Next step, add one more layer and fill it by light green color. Right, now use rectangle tool to cut a half of the dish away. Now press layer max to temporarily turn. Next, copy one more layer and recover some more detail of your food by pen tool. Next, merge all parts of the dishes all together. Now, double click on the right side of the dish to turn on the layer style. Check drop shadow to get realistic look for the food. Now, recall this shape and paint a sample color the new layer. Okay, this is a good time for you to tie the quotes. In this case, I choose hard work should be rewarded by good food. Alright, we also need to think about the sample directions as well as word or parts for a couple of minutes before doing it. Okay, 
Now all we have to do is to take apart the boards from all and arrange them. Feel free to choose multiple forms you like and the size. Remember to choose the bold ones to get a better result. Now, right click on the current font and rasterize it. It allows you to reshape later by drop mesh. Do the same thing with all text and play around with ball forms you have. We also need to highlight the center text to make it to be more focused. Let me show you how I do it. First one, choose the bow font. Rasterize and reshape it as the other text. Now, scale it a little bit smaller than you want. Click on the thumbnail of the layer to recall the selected area. Now, on the menu bar, press select, modify and check expand. On the expand blank, type it 5 pixels and press OK. Pick any selected two and right click. Next, choose chalk panel and change the color into black with a 4 pixels width. Now, you have one way to highlight the text. Enjoy it. Alright, now apply the same method for the other words.
Okay, with the word "food," this is a key word for the quote. So we also need to pay more attention. In this case, I decided to separate all single letters and reshape it. If you want to bring a different look for the font, street font is one of them. Let's start off by each single letter. Now, have some fun to add one more random wavy line. The last step: change all text you have done by white color, and delete. Temporary background layer. Let's finish our tutorial today by cropping up the paper signs and ready to use it for the advertising campaign. Thank you again for your attention. Hope you enjoy it, and don't forget to leave comments below and subscribe to Pat Channel. I'm Johnny.